Hey guys, welcome to the Keratin Granulation Treatment Guide. That's a big word, but basically all it means is you have dry nails. Now what are you going to do about it? So first thing what it is, it's keratin is the molecule that makes up your nails and when it dries out, the molecules or the molecules of keratin just roll up and kind of form a white chalky substance. So, you know, nothing to really worry about long term but you can still treat it and make your nails look a lot healthier and we'll get into that the one differential is superficial white nail fungus and this is a worry because anywhere you read online they'll probably tell you that your white nails are superficial white onychomycosis and it's very difficult to tell if it is keratin granulations or superficial white onychomycosis so what you have to do is really the only way to do it is to go visit your podiatrist and get, you know, some nail scrapings biopsied and checked out by a pathophysiologist. But here's a couple hints to help you lean towards one or the other. If you have been putting on nail polish heavily, nail polish contains acetone and that's something that dries out your fingernails and your toenails. So if your nails are white after removing some nail polish, lean more towards keratin granulations. You won't die of superficial white onychomycosis. You, lots of people have it for a long time. So if you're inclined, go with these treatments, and if they're not working after a few weeks, then you can go see your podiatrist and get it checked out. But official medical opinion, there's no way to know for sure, and you should get it checked out ahead of time. So primary treatments are, let's go over them moisturizing, cuticle creams, and avoiding nail polish until it gets better. So number one, you can put some Vaseline over the affected nails. This will uh, this will keep the moisture in, you know, anything works. You can use oils, Vaseline, petroleum jelly, any cuticle cream, any type of exfoliating cream, anything will work. Just put it on, you know, before you go to bed, you can put a Band-Aid on there whatever and do it for a few weeks and your nail will get better they especially have things called cuticle creams what I've seen work is Burt Bees but there's a million things out there it doesn't really matter use whatever is good for you you could even just stick with the Vaseline and until your nail starts to get better avoid nail polish or only use it in situations where you really have to use it secondary treatments these are if you're doing something, if you're working with, you know, bleach or acids or, you know, cleaning your sink with a toxic chemical regularly or, or something at work, wear some gloves. That can help your nails. If you're overworking your nails, you know, if, if you're a bricklayer, whatever, somewhere where your nails get a lot of work, wear gloves again. Some people... Have, if it is due to vitamin reasons, you could take a multivitamin, but a lot of this is just, uh, I guess propaganda is a good way to say it. There's not, no real studies behind using multivitamins to help your nails, but everyone seems to recommend it. But it's difficult to find studies. And drink lots of water, you know, stay hydrated, stay healthy, exercise, water. Do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.